والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم بسم الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وبعد in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Welcome back again. And I'm Omar Al-Jamaiki. And we're discussing affairs that strengthens one's Iman. And we have mentioned several things that can be used as tools in strengthening one's Iman, one's faith. And uh, of the things that also can be added, that can be used as a tool and a vehicle in strengthening of one's Iman is the person making supplication, frequent supplication of dua with dhikr. So the person has this tool that can be used, which is simple to be fulfilled. It's just for one to turn back to Allah with his arts and his mind and be humble and show humility to Allah and the seek of either forgiveness or ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for whatever one wishes. So these are the things that can be used. Something which is very simple. The dhikr of Allah and making dua, supplication. And supplication can be used on different occasions, at different time, at any, any place. So the person, whenever he's in a state of uh, need, he can always refer back to Allah directly by raising, by raising his hand and seeking of Allah that ever, whatever he wishes. Seeking of Allah to assist him in whatever he faces of difficulty and hardship. So the Muslim have been given this tool of dua, supplica uh, supplication to Allah. That is very simple. But a person in fulfilling of his supplication, he has to ensure that he does it not in a form of being hasty and rushing and not being mindful, but be mindful in his communication to Allah. As supplication and dua and dua is of the tool that is used as a communication to Allah. So one raises his hand and he supplicates to his Lord directly, not supplicating to any other of the things of the creation, not a man, not a building, not an idol, not a statue, but supplicate directly to the creator of everything, Allah. So these are the tools that have been given. But the Muslim, the person who supplicates to Allah, he has to ensure that his art, he, that he's concentrating, and that his art is attached to Allah. And then the person should ensure that he acts of those things which are permissible in Islam to ask of. So what the person ask of those things? Whatever he desires of it to fulfill his needs, as long as those things are permissible, then he's permitted to ask of those things. So he can ask of wealth if that's what he needs. He could ask of knowledge. So the person, he could ask of forgiveness, of a sin that he has fallen into. So the person with this tool of dua, it's a source of connecting oneself to Allah. And with this, it attached the person with his Lord. Knowing that in times of difficulty and hardship, in times of uh, goodness and ease, he can always refer back to Allah directly. And there's no need for him to go through any, intermediate, uh, any second source. He can do this direct. Him and Allah. So these are the tools that Allah have, uh, have given to us to supplicate to Him. And there are times that even the person's supplication, dua, is even more acceptable with Allah. The times that dua are acceptable. So the person tried to make, uh, 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 to use of these times beneficially. So he tries to ensure that he knows of these times that the door of this, uh, this, the acceptance of his supplication is open. Such as these times when uh, the last after Asr and Yawmul Juma, the person can supplicate to Allah and there's a great possibility of his supplication being accepted. Also, what a person is in prostration in his prayer. So the person is closest to Allah while he's in this position of sujood, the position of prostration. So the person can seek of Allah whatever he wishes in any language one wishes. As Allah knows every language. So the person of these occasions, these times, that he can refer back to Allah by way of supplication. But as the person should ensure that he's sincere, he's concentrating as to what he's doing, and also he asks 
of those things that are permissible. So these are things that Allah have given to us. And also the things that have been given to us by Allah is zikr, the remembrance of Allah. So if the tools that one can use increases iman, is always being mindful of Allah. And it's a simple, an act of the tongue. Saying subhanallah, praise be to Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allah is great. And others, alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. So all of these are as are ways that one can remind and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remember his Lord, showing that he's not one who's heedless of the remembrance of his Lord. And it shows that this person who has this relationship, it shows that his person iman, it have uh, strength. Because the person who strength who has uh, strength in his iman is always connected to Allah. Because Allah is most dearest to him. So the one whom he loves most is Allah. So he always have this connection with Allah. He reminds you remember of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether he's lying, whether he's standing, sitting, in any position, he's able to remember Allah. So there are these things that is very easy upon the tongue. But with Allah, it carries a great weight. So these uh, words, something very simple. Because they only take the movement of the tongue to utter a few words. But with Allah, it carries great, great weight. And the Muslim will be, uh, will be rewarded with Allah greatly for this. But it takes this art that is mindful of Allah to be uh, mindful of Allah. And this is a sign and a tool that can be used in strengthening of one's iman. As the person who is mindful of Allah is mindful that he is a servant and that he has a Lord, he has a master. And this master who have created him, he should always be mindful of the rights of his master. So the Muslim who wishes to increase his iman, he should use this as a tool. After salah, after the compulsory salat, or any salah, one should make the remembrance of Allah. Also, when one enters one house, he mentions Allah. When one eats, one mention Allah. When one enter the marketplace, when one leaves, he mention Allah. So there's time where there's certain remembrance that is more preferred to be done and more suitable for that thing or that time. So the Muslim should use of these as this is an indication that a person is aware of the plan of his Lord and aware as to himself and his connection with his Lord. So a sign of Iman and it's sign of Iman having weight, strength, is the person always being mindful of Allah. So these two things that I mentioned, the zikr, the remembrance of Allah, and also dua, supplication, are tools that can be used in strengthening of one's iman. That when one finds himself in a state of weakness, call upon Allah to strengthen one and aid one in this time of trial, in this time of weakness, as Allah is the one that is capable of doing everything. There's nothing that is outside the capability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have seen in even the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, that even times of battles, he would mention, he would supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's mindful of Allah, he remembers Allah, and with this Allah have given them victory. So the Muslim, at all times, he seeks to be mindful of Allah by way of supplication and by way of uh, azkar, by way of these remembrance of Allah that is done different times of the day. But a person in doing of these supplication, he should stick to those stated by the Prophet to the best of his ability and not to do anything or say anything that we were not taught by the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. So we limit ourselves to those things taught by the Messenger as he fulfill of these things as an example for us to follow in his example, not for us to add anything that he did not perform. So with this, again, we come to an end regarding those things that strengthen Iman 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته